everyone welcome again to another interesting episode on the lord show voice of tomorrow with your regular host meg in abulele ibe and with me on the studio today is mrs sandra fit rabo cultural mediator today our discussion is on the role of the mother and the community to the girl's child few weeks back a young lady and uh, with her daughter came to us and uh, the story was not too encouraging you know uh, the issue was between the girl and the, our teacher thank god the they were just at the starting point it has not escalated so we were able to calm the situation so that is why we are now here to discuss the role of a mother to the gay child to avoid reoccurrence so, so, so let's just deal with it this way to avoid no problem so what do you think is the role of the mother to the gay child thank you very much before i go into mm. that i would like to start from the role of a family mm. in a gay child, child okay in the life of a gay child the role of a family is there, the role of the society is there, the role of the government is there. First of all, what is a family? A family is supposed to be father, mother, mm -hmm. then children. <coughs> in most cases, fathers are always absent in the life of these children. Mm -hmm. Because you know, they are now left, now mm -hmm. left the child and the mother. Mm -hmm. So let me now come to the mother. Mm. A mother that announces that he, she is the father and the mm. mother to a child, her role should be the role of a father, a mother, a friend, a companion to the child. Mm. Many of us believe that beating our children is how to train our children. No. Back then at home, we all saw the way we are brought up by our families, through harsh words, mm. through knock on the head, cane all over the because body. Because the leaders have the correct. And those are what build us to be hard knock to break in our society today. A mother that knows that there is a, a, the absence of the father in the life of a child should be very polite, very lenient, very patient, very loving to that child. Take yourself as the only mirror that child is looking at. Mm. And you yourself as a mother, you have to work on yourself because it is what you have that you can give to your child. Mm -hmm. If you are not comporting yourself well, the child will copy if you are living a lousy life in the society, the child will copy. Exactly. Then it now comes to the society. Who are the society? Friends. We. We that are around. Majority of these mothers always refuse the society to join in the training of these children. children. Probably they are scared. When we are growing up, you know, we have a, a, a family system, not really blood family. I don't want to buy the society mm -hmm. that the child is like a Oriya, Oriya key. Everybody yes. have eyes on that yes. child. Yes. Any to carry waka, somebody will mm -hmm. call you. Mm -hmm. But these days, call a mother to say, this is what your child is doing. Hey, leave her. Uh, we are in abroad. The child can do this. The child that can do that. A child that is loose outside. Remember you as a mother, your eyes cannot be with her always. No. The society are the people that are watching her. Exactly. Let, for example, somebody now comes to you to say, yeah, I saw your child today. It's not the best. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. When you get home, where are you today? today? Yes. Then the child will now know that when you are not there, people are there watching. So anything she does, ah. anything she does outside, she can now know that 
not only her watching herself, not only her friends with her, there are other external people. bodies. I have always done it to our Nigerian children. Mm. Mostly when I see some smoking. <laughs> Even when they see the way I look at them, some will be hiding. The then I'll go near. <laughs> okay, you know it's not good. Mm -hmm. Since you are hiding, mm -hmm. then why did you have to smoke? Destroy it. I may not know their family. Exactly. I may not know their parents. A mother should be very appreciative to the society when they are cautioning her on the child's attitude outside the house. Oh but whereby you always take side to say, it's abroad, uh, we are civilized. You know that the time civilization will pass you and that child. A primitive person will be better than. Because a child that brings shame to the family. <laughs> then the government. We know the laws in this, our country, that um, in most cases, the way we are treated at home are not allowed here. No. And I supported that. It is not only true beating you can change the life of a no, child. No, with love you can change the life of a child. And when you see your child is not behaving the way it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. you have the government to run to. That is the social service. The school teacher, even your pastor, if the pastor is mm, yeah, well yeah. exposed, when you run to this set of people, they can provide, help you to find a solution. But many mothers are afraid to go and tell the teacher that my daughter doesn't sleep home. My daughter doesn't do this. I'm coming to the younger one, so um, mm. first of all, okay, I want to uh, talk on the grown-up mm. guests because those are the first mirror. We immediately, they, if they are like a uh, exactly. egg, egg that, that is harsh, when they go out, people start seeing them. Mm -hmm. The one inside are a bit covered. covered. Parents can go to the social service to report strange cases of their children's behavior. Okay, by so do they don't monitor them? Well, let's assume a, a child that is going out of hand yes. in this, uh, 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 with the way he or she comports herself. You go to the social service, you report the case. The child can be sent to a psychologist. Okay. Who will now help to ask, because there are some attitudes some children are doing, so they do it to hurt you, the parents. You must, some That's have, intentional. Some, some, yes, they, some do it intentionally. Mm -hmm. Maybe the way they were treated at home wasn't the best way they felt they should be treated. Mm -hmm. So they can start, some start running away from the home. Some will start preferring staying outside among uh, her friends. Mm. So when you report to a social service, they can now help you to send that child to a psychologist who will visit this child, question this child, try to know mm. why she's behaving in such a way. Mm. Exactly. That is where pastors can still come oh. in if we have responsible pastors. I say responsible pastors because it will not be fair if you go and tell a man, a, 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 a man of God about your child and when he gets there, he will be the one to spoil your child. We have been hearing it. So no apology for that. Mm. So we have right to tell the government when our children are not behaving mm -hmm. well. They cannot help us. But more, I'm surprised that most of our Nigerians, they are always afraid of the social service in the aspect of anything concerning their children. But when they are going there to ask for money, pay their bills, they are never afraid. Mm. Then coming to the younger ones, mm. those ones that are too young to express themselves, yes. a mother on no account should leave a child that has that cannot express herself to whom 
he, uh, who she didn't trust in. Most of these mothers live with boyfriends who are not trustworthy. Most of these mothers live in houses with uh, co-Nigerians. Maybe they are there paying the house rent together mm -hmm. as neighbors. They leave their children in the hands of these people. You don't trust. You don't trust. And some of them even trust, but these people break the trust. Mm -hmm. So it is not fair for a mother to leave a gay child, no matter the age, if even a day old, to a father who you know is not a responsible father, or to a brother, or to a cousin, yeah, yeah. or a friend, or a neighbor. That is not we are head of uh, uh, boyfriends, uh, mother's boyfriend, abusing. abusing the, the mm -hmm. stepchildren, let me say so, so yeah. which is very bad. It is not our culture, it is not our tradition, it is not our attitude mm. for somebody to leave adults outside and go for younger children. As I said before, to crown it all, the attitude of a mother is what a child is. You are the first book your child is reading. Mm -hmm. So anything she learns from you is what she will show outside. Home education. You see some parents, they are not able to uh, teach their children on what to do when inside. When you see them on the street, do this, do this. No. Education, education, they say, starts from home. Oh. They, I've never heard where they say education starts from the streets. So you are going to teach your child on the sit down there, don't move. You have not taught him or her at all. How to comport. How to comport. And many of them always mm -hmm. use that language. You know, children where they brown abroad brown now. <laughs> children where they brown abroad brown. And they are more sensible. Train your child to be bold. Train your child to be loving. Train your child to be open to you. And when they call mm. your attention for anything, please don't put them away. Wait. Every statement he or she makes, both the boy child, every statement from them should be taken into consideration. Don't tell them go away. Try to listen to them at that moment. We, are, we do see some on live videos when their parents are presenting, the children come, they just go, 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 go. That's what that child has to tell you at that moment. moment. The moment you tell him or her, go, 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 he or she forgets. Okay. And that could be an important information to lead you on how to take care of that child. That child. So we should take the care of our children very seriously. Mm -hmm. Beating is not the solution. Thank you, mommy, for that, uh, you know, ways of uh, encouragement and uh, enlightenment, you know. You know, she made mention of uh, home education. Exactly. How to educate the gay child. And I love what she said, like she said, not only the gay child, the male child also, the nieces. How to educate her on sex, how to you know, place value on herself, okay, I forgot how her self-esteem and all. You know, as a mother out there, your role, if you have failed yourself, the society has failed you. You must not fail your child, especially the girl child. You should be there for her. You know, the boys, they will just, you know, in the morning, they do what they like, like where we are coming from. Mothers, they don't really bother about the boys, you know. They just say, uh, you, you go and do this. It's just for them to call the boy child, you know, to come and eat. But for the girl child, a lot is to be done. You need to work on her. You need to educate her, the home education. Self-esteem, how to place value on herself so that she will not be intimidated. Or feel intimidated in the midst of her friends. No matter your background, no matter where the girl child is coming from, 
you need to educate her on that. That my daughter, this is whom you have. You need to ask her questions about her education or what she wants to become in life. That is what we are discussing. How to educate the great child to fit in to the society, to be productive in the society. So, uh, so much love what uh, Mrs. Sandra Fix Ibabo said. And for single mothers out there, you are not the first to be a single mother, and you will not be the last. It has been happening. I honestly, I praise their effort. Because <coughs> single mothers, they are so strong. Exactly. You no, know, for a woman to take the role of a mother and do the role of a father at the same time, and some of them you see them with three, four kids, and these kids they are in school. Some are doing very well without the, the father, you no, know, the, the help of the father. So I praise their effort. Be very, let your daughter, your son, let them be close to you. Show them love and affection. So that whatever they have in mind or any experience, whatever they saw outside, they can share it with you. It is not good for you no know, parents to hear things about their children outside. And even when you ask them, they will just be looking at you. Why? Because the love and affection, the friendship, the closeness is not there. So that is my little <coughs> advice for mothers, couples out there. Learn to be your children. Learn to be their best friend. Bring them close so that they can share those deep or little secrets with you and you will know how to go about it. And that's all we can take on the Lord's of West of tomorrow for today. Thank you, Mrs. Sandra Fix, for you know, for you know, giving us this uh, useful advice. And I pray that this advice would be no useful to them, they will implement it, and at the end of glory, will be ascribed to his name. And that's all we can take on the Lord's voice of tomorrow for today. See you same time next week. Bye bye.